Welcome to the Creative Pugza. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to turn yourself to stone in Affinity Photo. I saw this effect done in Photoshop on some other channels, which you can find the link to those channels in the description of this video. So I decided to try this stone effect in Affinity Photo to see if it could be done. And the answer is yes. This effect is useful for creating realistic or surreal photo composites. Now, let's start the tutorial. First, go to File Open and select the picture of the man. Second, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the image. Turn off the original image. With the duplicated layer selected, go to the toolbar and click Auto Levels. This automatically applies a levels adjustment to the image. Next, click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel and select the Shadows and Highlights adjustment. Set the shadows to 50%. This will lighten some of the shadows on the man's face. In the Layers panel, select the Adjustments layer and the Duplicated layer. Right-click on the selection and click Merge Visible to put the changes we made onto one layer. Turn off the original layers in the Layers panel. Next, grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. In the Context toolbar, set the Mode to Add and check the Snap to Edges box. Take the brush and make a selection of the man's head. Once you've selected the man's head, press Ctrl and J. This will place a copy of our selection onto a new layer. Then press Ctrl and D to deselect. Select the new head layer. Press and hold the Ctrl key, then click the thumbnail image of the man's head and the head layer. This will reactivate our selection of the head. Click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel and select the HSL adjustment. Drag the Saturation Shift slider all the way to the left to desaturate the image. In the Layers panel, drag the HSL adjustment inside of the head layer. Then, press Ctrl and D to deselect. With the head layer selected, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the layer. Turn off the original layer for now. We'll now create a displacement map of the head. By doing this, the stone texture we use will be able to wrap around the man's head. Now, select the duplicated layer. Go to the Filters menu. Then, select Blur Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 3 pixels. Go to File Export. Select PNG and click Export. Label the file Head Displacement and save it. By choosing the PNG option, the background of the image will be transparent. In the Layers panel, delete the duplicated head layer and turn the original one back on. Select the head layer, then go to the Filters menu. Select Noise, Denoise. Set everything to 100%. After that, go to File Open and select the Stone Texture image. Copy the image and paste it onto the document with the head. Go to the Transform panel and turn on the Lock Aspect Ratio. Then, resize the image of the stones. With the Texture layer selected, set the Blend Mode of this layer to Overlay. Now, go to the Filters menu. Select Distort, Displace. Make sure the Scale to Fit box is selected. Click on the Load Map from File option. Then, click the Head Displacement file we created earlier. Set the strength to 5 pixels. In the Layers panel, make sure the Texture layer is still selected. Press the Control key and click on the thumbnail of the Head layer to reactivate the selection. Then, press Control and J. This will create a copy of the head filled with the Texture layer. Turn off the Texture layer in the Layers panel and drag the head layer above the original textured layer. After that, press Ctrl and D to deselect. Select the head layer with the face. Next, click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel and select the Curves adjustment. This layer should be between the two head layers. I want to remove some of the highlights on the man's face. On the curve, place the points in the areas you see on the screen.
Now select the textured head layer. Click the mask layer icon to add a mask to this layer. Grab the paintbrush tool from the tools panel. Make sure the mask layer is selected and that the black color is active in the swatches panel. Take the brush and go over the eyes so that the man's actual eyes show through. Now take the brush and go over the man's nostrils to bring them through. After that, go over the lip line of the man's mouth, the middle line that connects the lips together. In the layers panel, select the textured head layer, the curves adjustment layer, and the other head layer. Then press Ctrl and G to group the layers together. Label the group head. We'll now add the stone head to another image to give it a background. Go to File Open and select the image of the rock stacked on top of each other. Go to the toolbar and select Auto Levels. Then press Ctrl and J to duplicate the layer. With the duplicated layer selected, go to the Filters menu and click Distort, Displace. Select Load Map from Layers Beneath. Set the strength to 3 pixels. After that, copy the head group and paste it onto the image with the rocks. Resize the image as you see it on the screen. Then rotate the head slightly to the right about negative 6 degrees. Select the duplicated background layer. Then click the adjustments icon in the layers panel and click the black and white adjustment. Set the red to negative 2%, yellow to negative 10%, and magenta to 13%. Now set the blend mode to hue and lower the opacity of this layer to 63%. These changes are starting to blend the background and the stone head together to make it look like one image. Now click the adjustments icon and select the curves adjustment. Make sure this adjustment is at the top of everything in the layers panel. Place points on the curve the same way you see them on the screen. Go to the red channel and place a point in the middle of the curve and bring it down to the right. In the Layers panel, select the duplicated background layer. Now grab the Selection Brush tool from the Tools panel. Take the brush and select the area that's beneath the man's head. Click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel. Select the Brightness and Contrast Adjustment. Set the brightness to negative 44% and the contrast to negative 36%. With the Brightness and Contrast Adjustment selected, go to the Filters menu. Then select Blur, Gouge, and Blur. Set the radius to 5 pixels. And this is how to turn yourself to stone in a Fendi photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching.